Hi guys, it's a Let's Do This Gaming back with another Roblox Adobe video and today where we're doing building hacks for parrots. Yeah, that's right. Did you get your legendary parrot yet? They're pretty hard to uh, get, but uh, well, they deserve some special treatment. So uh, let's go and uh, check them out. So we'll just stop by riding this parrot and the first building hack is this cute little perch. Yeah, that's right. Your parrot can sit atop a perch and look like a royal parrot. It. So that looks pretty cool. Uh, let's grab Mr. Parrot again and of course he's going to need something to drink. So I've just converted this bird bath into an actual bird feeder. So that looks pretty good and you can put both the water and feed bowls into this fountain. So we'll just head over to this beautiful looking crystal tree and we can also pop the parrot on top of the tree and it perches up like that. So that looks pretty good. Uh, we could also just grab a normal seat obviously and the parrot can just sit on a stump but that's not really a building hack. This one is one I really like which is actually a beautiful looking swing for your parrot. Yeah that's right and it's the crystal tree as well so it's kind of really special. Now if we go ahead and grab our parrot for one more time we can head over to here and because he's a parrot and if you had a pirate theme well the parrot can sit on top of the treasure chest so that looks pretty good too of course he could also be sitting on top of a palm tree as well so that's another great building hack and to finish off your interior decoration I've gone ahead and used these mirrors which give us a really good effect during the day which is like clouds but at night time it also changes the room as well so let's go and uh, grab the parrot one more time and uh, well it's going to be night time uh, really soon and there you go it looks pretty awesome in this room so you could go ahead and uh, just use some mirrors to create this awesome effect anyway guys so you want to see how to do these building hacks well let's do this <laughs> Okay, so for these parrot building hacks, you're going to need a fairly decent sized room. Now, I'm using the one in the Mermaid Mansion, and I've gone ahead and put on some small mirrors on the wall. And that way, it looks like it's outside. So, that's going to add to the effect. So, let's get started. Now, if we just go to Edit House and Stuff, well, we're going to have to get the barrier, because, well, pretty much all builds uh, need a barrier. And we're just going to move that to the side. Now we're going to go down to the tropical section and we're going to grab the fairy tree. So there's going to be a couple of things with this fairy tree. So let's just do the simple one first. So we're just going to move this around to a nice sort of location like that. Maybe put it on a bit more of an angle and bring it out. Then we'll just move this barrier across and we might just move it up about, oh, I don't know, to about here. And then we're going to go ahead and grab a seat. So you'll find those in the living room under uh, seating. And we're just gonna grab the small chair because that one works best. Now we're just gonna hide this chair inside the tree like that. And you have gotta to try to get it so it doesn't stick out too much. So we're just gonna change the color of that as well uh, so it's not so obvious. And now if we go ahead and move this barrier out of the way and grab our little parrot, we can see that it should sit nicely on top. And that looks pretty cute. Now, of course, you can turn the seat around and that might help with the parrot's positioning as well. So let's go ahead and pick up the parrot and we'll just pop it. Oh, oops. <laughs> well, of course, you can sit with your parrot on the tree as well, but that's not what I meant. So let's just hop down and we're just going to put the parrot there. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, there we go. The parrot looks a little bit more comfortable sitting in that direction. So uh, that looks pretty cool. Now we're going to go ahead and we'll just do another simple uh, little hack and we'll do the uh, bird bath. Yeah, the bird bath is under forest and it's a bird bath. Well, yeah, that's right. But the problem is, is that, uh, well, birds uh, don't actually drink from it. So we can fix that quickly by just grabbing ourselves a bowl from the pet section and it's just a water bowl and we'll just pop that into the middle like that. So that is nicely hidden away and now our parrot can have a little drink and it looks like it's actually drinking from the bird bath. 
So uh, that looks pretty cool as well. Now we're going to go ahead and do another one of these hacks over here on the crystal tree. So uh, this time we're going to need a barrier again. And so for this particular hack, we're just going to go ahead and place it down like that. Now this is the hack with the parrot seat. So we're going to go ahead and go to decorations. And what we're looking for here is a couple of hat racks. Yeah, that's right. And just move the hat rack up again into the tree itself like that. Now we want to go ahead and grab another hat rack and we can just move that over to this side here. Now we need to just move that down a little bit because this other uh, branch is a bit lower. So we'll just grab that hat rack again and we'll just place it into the tree like that. And we're just going to move that one up like that. Okay, so it looks a little bit off center, but that's okay guys. We'll figure that out. So now we go over and grab a decorative bread or two. So we're just going to place that there and grab another decorative bread there and one more here like that. Now we're going to go and grab another one of those seats. Now we can just uh, place that seat on like that. And if we move it back a little bit and actually move this down a little bit and then bring it back up. We'll just go and check around the back here. So that placement looks about right. So the other thing you want to do is just look over the top perspective as well. Make sure you have those uh, racks lined up. So that looks pretty cool too. However, again, we can change this orientation of the seat. So then the parrot uh, might face this direction. So let's just give that a try. We'll pick up the parrot and we'll pop him down again. And so you can have the parrot facing any which way you like. So that's a pretty good a little perch as well. So what else haven't we done guys? So we're going to actually need this barrier again. So we're just going to place that onto the wall and just spin it and bring it down just a little. Because what we're going to get now is a pirate's chest. Now I think you'll find a, one of those in the castle. Yeah, so let's have a quick look here. And yeah, there we go. We found a treasure chest. We'll just uh, maybe orientate that around a little bit. And we're going to move this up so we know we've got it around the right way like that. So we just push that into the corner and now we can just bring that down and grab another one of those seats. Now you might have to get this uh, seat just about the right height and as we can see we could probably do with that being raised a little bit more. So let's go ahead and do that now. Well the perfect thing I find is to use some breadboards. So we'll go to stuff and in the pizza place we'll see if we can get some really thin boards here. And if we pop one there and maybe we need about two, they'll just sit on top of each other and as you can see it just goes up a little bit higher. Let's go ahead and just do one more of these boards. And then we can try to put the chair on top. So it was on a bit of an angle like that. And we'll just pick up the parrot one more time. Bring the treasure chest over like that. And then we can just get rid of these chopping boards. And now we should be ready to put our parrot on top of the treasure chest. Okay, for our next building hack, we're going to go back to tropical. And grab out one of these small palm trees and we'll just place it down like that. So we're going to also need a barrier. And uh, it's always probably best to keep your barrier out. I always put it away, but uh, you always sort of need barriers to do things in this game. So let's just move this along a little bit. And now we want to go ahead and move the orientation of this tree. So I'll just move out of the way a little bit and that looks about right. Now what I'm going to also do is grab a couple of these uh, breadboards just to raise the height of the seat that we're going to put on. And yes, it's just a normal uh, seat as per uh, usual. Now that is going to look pretty good, but we need to go to the top to make sure the seat is actually in the tree. So it's going to sit in like that. And we can get rid of these uh, chopping boards. And we can also get rid of this barrier. So that is the palm tree. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our parrot out and see what it looks like. So we'll just stop editing and now we can pop the parrot on top like that. So it looks like I'm going to have to turn this seat around again. So let's just do it like that. 
grab the parrot and pop him back on top and there we go. So the parrot is sitting on top of the tree. That looks pretty cool. And for our final idea, let's go ahead and make a little parrot perch. So to do that, I'm gonna grab a barrier and we'll just turn that on to the side and maybe bring that down just a little bit. We need to go to the castle and grab one of these banners out. Now you can make it any color you like. So I'm just gonna tilt that to the side and bring this up a little bit like that. Now what I wanna go and do is, you guessed it guys, grab one of those seats and we can just pop that on top like this. Now if we just go and get in a bit closer, we can see that we can just move this a little bit to the side and that looks about right. So we're gonna move this barrier away like that. And now we've got a cool little perch for our bird. So let's get the parrot back out and see if he likes it. So I'll just stop editing and put the parrot on top like that. So that looks pretty good. It's a little perch for your parrot. So guys, these are my cool building hacks for your legendary parrot. Yeah, that's right. And I also put this uh, little stump seat down here as well because that's a pretty good thing for the parrot to sit on too. But I think the parrot swing is probably my favorite. So guys, let me know in the comments below whether you like these Adopt Me building hacks and whether you want me to do more building hacks in the future. And how cool does this look guys? Perfect timing. Yeah, that's right. Because you use the crystal tree and I'm using the mirrors, we can have a two-tone effect in this room. So at night time, it actually goes dark. And obviously during the day, we get to see clouds. Anyway guys, uh, my parrot needs a little bit of sleep and so do I. So that's all I've got time for today. Please like and subscribe and bye for now.